Hello and welcome to the first lecture on our module Principles of Exercise Therapy or you will know it as PET. Uh, the first lecture is about exercise driving an integrated system of systems. Uh, that's me, Dale Walker. You can reach me on Twitter at djwalker587. So welcome to the module and let me tell you what the module is all about. It's really uh, recognizing that exercise is involved in all forms of physiotherapy treatment. It is our most evidence-based treatment and it's probably the most effective treatment that we have. Um, you as a physiotherapy student um, need to become a champion for exercise. That means that you believe in exercise, you believe in the benefits and also you practice exercise yourself. Um, so PET is broken down into various uh, ways that we teach you. Obviously you'll get lectures uh, from me, you'll get tutorials from uh, myself and the other tutors, there'll be practical sessions where you'll need your sports kit, uh, trainers, so on and so forth, and there'll be online activities in the uh, directed study. So module learning aims really it's about you developing this theoretical knowledge of exercise prescription and then having the practical skills to go with it. It's no good just theorizing about it if you can't actually do it. Um, you've got to understand the principles of exercise therapy. So there are basic principles that we have out there. Uh, we're not giving you recipes, we're giving you the principles from which uh, you will then learn to prescribe exercise. Uh, and these will be related to task specific fitness or functional fitness um, and we have to understand that uh, exercise inter is integral to all aspects of physiotherapy treatment uh, musculoskeletal obviously neuro cardiorespiratory burns and plastics amputees pediatrics geriatrics everything uh, involves exercise so our learning objectives are to get you to to describe the structure and the function of the cardiorespiratory, the neuromusculoskeletal uh, and all the other systems that relate to exercise and physical activity. Uh, we want you to describe the immediate and the long-term or chronic ad adaptations uh, to exercise and physical training, uh, the prevent and provoke as we call them. Um, Eventually, by the end of the module, you will prescribe exercise, you will plan an exercise regime, you will implement it, and you will evaluate whether you gave the appropriate exercise or not, uh, and you will need to see whether you've been effective uh, in your exercise prescription. Uh, we want you to demonstrate effective communication, uh, particularly with regard to instructing safely and correctly. Remember that the exercises are always done wrong so they will need correction and they need to feel that both tangibly and kinesthetically as well as conjuring up uh, the right image in their mind. You need to identify health and safety principles in all uh, of your physiotherapy training but particularly with regard to the exercise environment. We want you to identify current guidelines, uh, either by the World Health Organization or by NICE, about healthy lifestyle, including nutrition, fitness, and physical activity. So the first semester is divided uh, like so. So we, the first lecture, exercise driving a system of systems. Then we cover the components of fitness, of which there are 10. Then we understand how the mind is related to movement. Then we understand how the mind is related to muscle. And then we travel from muscles and hypertrophy, uh, that's uh, muscular adaptation, the muscle growing bigger, uh, to the heart, um, obviously the heart being the most important muscle. And then we travel to hormones which regulate the body's uh, homeostatic system. We cover biomechanics, the needs analysis uh, of a patient, um, good posture, uh, and how good movement comes from good posture, we cover range of movement and exercise communication and feedback. Then semester two, we do functional strength and conditioning, exercise and outcome measures, exercise screening, and then eventually 
at the end exercise prescription prescribing exercise giving the patient the right dosage you'll be teaching uh, and designing group exercise so that's exercise for a big group of people such as cardiac rehab um, we're then covering things like balance and proprioception cardiac rehab and hydro or aquatic therapy so as a physiotherapy student you need to have the following skills anatomy clinical reasoning communication empathy physiology pathology health promotion human movement analysis skill acquisition evidence-based practice treatment modalities and in this module exercise prescription and planning so our expectations of you uh, we need you to sign the register or you will be counted as not attending please uh, complete the directive study before the class um, it's no good coming into the class expecting to no stuff it, when we've given you the directed study so that's uh, I'm going to wag my finger and make sure you do that uh, sports clothes for all practicals please no uh, no bare feet unless we specify always bring some trainers um, and use the sessions to ask questions uh, there's no such thing as a stupid question um, because if you think uh, it's unclear chances are somebody else is thinking it's unclear as well and if you're struggling speak to us so we can sort it out so physiotherapy is a profession. It's a healthcare profession concerned with human anatomy and physiology, human movement and function, maximizing wellness and of human potential and minimizing disease and injury. Ultimately, it's about solving real world problems, um, of which we have uh, physical inactivity being the fourth leading cause of preventable death after high blood pressure, tobacco use and high glucose. So we've got these real world problems, these are public health considerations. So we've got coronary heart disease, cancer, cirrhosis of the liver, uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, type 2 diabetes, depression, dementia, stroke, hypertension and kidney disease. And all of these can be reduced simply by moving more. So physical inactivity affects the whole body, the lungs, skin, muscles and joints, heart, stomach, bones and other organs it's a system of systems um, then we've got exercise and exercise is going to increase your self-esteem it's going to increase your energy it's going to make your bones and joints stronger it's going to control your weight and your metabolism it's going to make your heart healthier which will reduce your blood pressure strengthen your immune system improve your self-image tone your muscles and relieve stress so exercise drives this system of systems. The mind drives the muscular system. The muscular system drives the cardiorespiratory system. The cardiorespiratory system drives the blood system. The blood system drives the neuroendocrine system. And the neuroendocrine system drives the hormonal system. Okay, so when you see things like this in the future, that might bamboozle you at the moment, but by the end of the course, you'll be fine. You know, you'll know exactly what that means. So our definition of exercise therapy is using voluntary muscle activity produced by an integration of higher centers cardiovascular pulmonary and neuromuscular components to rehabilitate these systems in the amazing tidies physiotherapy so exercise is a subset of physical activity uh, and physical activity considered as bodily movements uh, that enhance physical fitness and overall wellness and you can remember that exercise is uh, repetitive planned purposeful and structured and use the acronym reps to help you remember this uh, remember that exercise is about improving health maintaining fitness and can be used as a means of physical rehabilitation so three levels of exercise therapeutic recreational and competitive the World Health Organization classifies types of impairment, activity and participation and how these might be affected according to somebody's disability. It's important that we understand that because we are prescribing exercise to people with impairments. So exercise again affecting the whole body, a system of systems. It's important that you understand that. Um, the whole person, the holistic approach. There are five areas to consider. You've got the mental side, the emotional side, the physiological side, the behavioral side, and the spiritual side. But unless you change behavior, nothing changes. Okay, so physical activity guidelines. 
we have a daily target of 22 minutes per day. If we do that seven times a week, that ends up in 154 minutes, and our weekly target is over 150 minutes of physical activity. So if we break that down, you've got 24 hours in a day, 22 minutes of activity, so 23 hours and 38 minutes of inactivity. Is that really too much to ask? 22 minutes is a minimum investment. So exercise prescription is a high level skill that requires you to deliver the optimal exercise for the appropriate patient with an accurate dosage and correct technique. Remember that we're giving you exercise principles, not recipes, and you're, that you're gonna have to think clinically about these. Uh, in order to help you remember the principles, we've given you the acronym ASPORT Billy, and we'll go through this now. Remember this, if you remember nothing about PET, just remember this. A is for adaptation. S is for specificity. P is for progressions or regressions. O is for overload. R is for reversibility. T is for time out. B is for behavioral change. I, individuality. L, lifestyle integration. L, law of diminishing returns and why your responsibility. Learn this slide. It is the most important slide in PET. Remember that we're training movements, not muscles. The brain thinks in terms of functional movement, uh, not isolated anatomy. Remember that physios are not 1980s bodybuilders. So the assessment, there's two ways that we will assess you. The computer assisted assessment, which is a 45 minute computer exam. And then you've got a half hour practical assessment, which is a viva, where you could get individual exercise prescription or group exercise teaching. Your module team are myself, Dale Walker. Um, you've got uh, the undergraduate lead, Linda Hollingworth, David Dean and Mike Dean. Remember, exercise is important it does all these wonderful things so you've got to na navigate your way around blackboard uh, the module schedule is in module information directive study uh, is to be completed each week before the session and then you've also got further reading to be done after the session to reinforce that learning uh, the session material will consist of the lecture by myself and then either a practical or a tutorial and there'll be worksheets for this if you're super keen you can read the supplementary information and I thoroughly recommend you do so so by the end of this lecture we have explained that exercise drives an integrated system of systems you can appreciate that lack of physical activity is a major public health issue uh, that concerns all physiotherapy uh, professionals and we're able to recall the principles of exercise therapy uh, in the acronym A Sport Billy. Thanks for listening and I look forward to seeing you on the next session.